Hello everyone and welcome to another highlight lighting tutorial. So today we're going to be talking to you about our single color LED controller, wall mount and remote control and how to pair with the first generation Amazon Alexa Echo Plus. And please know that the Alexa must have a Zigbee inbuilt protocol in order to work. The LED controller has 4 channels rated at 5 amps per channel and it needs to be supplied with 12 to 36 DC volts. So what we have here is a small section of a COB strip in warm white and a 700 LEDs per meter in cool white and connected to the two LED controllers which are being supplied with 24 volts. Now the first thing that you want to do is to of course power up the controllers and then go ahead and reset both controllers by pressing the program button 5 times. After you've done that, the LED strip will flash 3 times and then twice to signify that the LED controller has been reset. Now the next step would be to download the Alexa application on your mobile phone if you haven't already done so and set it up with the Alexa. Once you've done that, open up the application, go into devices, and then tap the plus sign on the top right of the screen, add device. Scroll right at the bottom of the screen, tap on to other. Then before you go ahead and tap on discover devices, you want to make sure to turn off then turn back on the LED controllers as there is a 15 seconds timeout before the LED controllers can be paired to the Amazon Alexa. Now once we've done that, we can go ahead and tap on discover devices. Now the LED controllers will be found quite quickly by the Alexa but the application in itself will take a little bit of time to catch up. And as you can see, the LEDs will blink 4 times, then twice slowly to signify the pairing has been complete. If the pairing doesn't get completed, just try one more time and it should work. Once that is done, two devices have been found. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, choose the devices. We're gonna set up the first light first. Set up device. We can skip this step as we don't have any groups. Continue and do the same for the second light. You can rename the light afterwards if you want to. Tap continue, then done. And now we should be able to control the LED controllers from the application. So we can just go ahead and turn the first light off. Try to turn off the second light as well and everything seems to be working fine. You can also adjust the brightness just to check. And yet we can control the LED controllers from the Amazon Alexa application. Now if you want to add our single color Zigbee remote control or our single color Zigbee wall mount, you'd have to go back onto the application, go into devices, the plus sign, add device, then you want to add a switch. Then go on to adder. Then before you tap on discover devices, you want to go ahead and grab the remote control and make sure that both remote control or wall mount have been reset. So in order to reset them, all you have to do is to press the power button. Then press and hold onto the power button until the LED indicator flashes. Then press the power button 5 times. And that will reset the remote control. Is the same procedure for the wall mount, so you press and hold onto the power button. Once the LED indicator flashes, you press the power button 5 times. Ok so now that we reset both uh, remote control and the wall mount, we can go ahead and pair both of them to each of the controllers. So we're gonna grab the remote control. Press the power button to power it up. Press and hold onto the power button until the LED indicator flashes. Then go ahead and shoot press S1. Once it starts blinking, you want to go ahead and tap on discover devices. Now, the remote control needs to blink 5 times in quick succession. As you can see, it didn't do that. When it doesn't do that, it means that the remote control has not been paired to the Amazon Alexa, okay? Since the Alexa is still searching, we can go ahead and pair the wall mount. So press and hold onto the power button until the LED indicator flashes. 
then should press S1 and if you pay attention the LED indicator flashed five times in quick succession so we're expecting the one mount to be paired and the remote control not to be paired so we'll have to repeat the step for the remote control now as expected we only found one switch which is the wall mount the remote control has not been found so we will need to repeat the step now it is key that you add whether the remote control or wall mount that you may have it is key that you add them onto the zb network first before pairing them to the led controller or you won't be able to use both at the same time so let's go ahead and add the remote control again so the plus sign add device switch then you can go ahead and tap onto other then this time we're gonna go ahead and discover devices since the application takes a little bit longer anyway there's no difference if you tap it before or after so grab the remote control press and hold onto the power button then shoot press s1 as you can see the led indicator has blinked five times in quick succession so we should be seeing the remote control now being added onto the Alexa network. And also please note that there won't be any functionality added to the application by adding the switch. We just need the remote control or the wall mount to be on the same Zigbee network as the LED controllers before we can go ahead and pair them via touch link commissioning. So as you can see, the remote control has now been added onto the Alexa Zigbee network. So we can go ahead and set it up. And if you want to double check and make sure, you can go onto switches on the top um, of the page. And you can see that both remote control and wall mount have been added. So the next step would be to pair the remote control and the wall mount to the LED controllers. So we're gonna pair the first remote control to the first LED controller and the wall mount to the second LED controller. Or you can pair both wall mount and remote control to one LED controller. You just have to make sure that they're on the Zigbee network first before you do the touch link commissioning. Now, if you have multiple controllers, the easiest way to do it is to do them one at a time. So we're going to turn off the second controller and pair the first controllers to the remote control first. Then you can go ahead and power off, then power back on the LED controller. You will have to wait, remember, 15 seconds and you will have a total of 169 seconds timeout to complete the pairing. Then you can go ahead and grab your remote control, power it up, select any zone, for example, zone 3. Then press and hold onto the power button until the LED indicator flashes. Should press S2 and then bring the remote control close to the LED controller. There needs to be at least 10 centimeter distance for the pairing to be successful. Then once it's paired, the LED light will blink twice. And as you can see, the pairing is now done. So the setup for the first light is now complete so you will be able to control the led controller from your alexa application or if you want to control it from the remote control you can also do so you just have to pick up the remote control power it up select the zone and then control your light so we've powered back up the second led controller to complete the step with the wall mount as well it's the same procedure so you select your zone for this instance zone one then press and hold onto the power button until the LED indicator flashes and then shoot press S2. Then bring the wall mount close to the LED controller. And the LED light should flash twice to signify that the pairing has been complete. So the setup for the second light has also been completed. You can go ahead and test and make sure that everything is working fine. So as you can see, it's not too difficult to set up the LED controllers with the Amazon Alexa or the remote control. You just have to make sure to follow the steps and everything should be working fine. 
For more information, you can visit our website, highlightlighting.co.uk. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button underneath this video. You can also follow us on our Twitter and Instagram page. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.